Hello, my friends. This is your teacher, JC. And today we are going to see a video about the use of prepositions in, on, under, and some others. But we are going to we are going to focus on in, on, and under prepositions. En o dentro de, sobre y debajo. In, on, under is the topic that we are going to see today. Okay, so let me share a screen with you guys. Mm, and here it is, the first exercise. So remember, remember that uh, this, remember that this um, words on, under, on, under, and in are prepositions. Son preposiciones. Palabras que indican dónde está algo. ¿Sí? No únicamente eso, pero en este caso, la posición. ¿Dónde está algo? Por ejemplo, aquí vemos el pez sobre el bowl. El pez está sobre el bowl. Entonces, o sobre el, el acuario. Sí, el pez está sobre el acuario. Y nos hacen la pregunta. Where is the fish? Where is the fish? Where is the fish? It's on the bowl. It's under the bow or it's in the bow. Para eso debo saber qué significan las preposiciones. What is the meaning of the prepositions? The prepositions mean on, sobre o encima de, sobre o encima de, under, under significa debajo de, e in significa dentro de, dentro de. Entonces, vamos dentro, sobre y Debajo. On, under, and in. On, under, and in. Right? So, the, to the question, where is the fish? Where is the fish? It's on the bowl. It's under the bowl. Under, or it's in the bowl. As we can see, the fish is on the bowl. Correct. Next exercise. Next. Okay, now the question, where is the fish? Where is the fish? The question is, where is the fish? Donde está el pez? Nuevamente, where is the fish? It's on the bowl, on the bowl, it's under the bowl, or it's in the bowl. In this situation, the fish is in the bowl, correct. The fish is in the bowl, that is correct. Now, Next, where is the fish? This question, where is the fish? Donde está el pez? Where is the fish? It's in the bowl, it's under the bowl, or it's on the bowl. Now, if we can see, the fish is under the bowl. It's under the bowl, okay? Okay, very good. Next question, next. Where is the parrot? Where is the parrot? This is a parrot. This is a parrot and this is a cage. This is a structure that you can see here is a cage. Cage is jaula and parrot loro. Where, where is the parrot? Donde está loro? Where is the parrot? It's in the cage. It's in the cage. It's on the cage. It's under the cage, right? It's in the cage. It's on the cage or it's under the cage. In this situation, we can say that the parrot, the parrot is in the cage. Adentro, it's in the cage, okay? The next one, let's check the next one. Where is the parrot? You say, where is the parrot? Where is the parrot? Okay, the parrot is here. The parrot is on the tree, under the tree, or it's in the tree. Yeah, we cannot see if the parrot is into the tree. Let's say that the, the parrot is under. Correct. It's under the tree. Debajo. It's under the tree. Okay. Uh, okay. The next one. Where is the parrot? Remember, this is a parrot. Where is the parrot? And this is a branch. Branch is rama. This is a branch. Where is the parrot? It's under the branch, under the branch. It's on the branch, on the branch, or it's in the branch. 
esto sería ilógico porque decir que está dentro de la rama, quiere decir que la rama tiene un hueco y el loro está dentro. It's in the branch. Where is the parrot? The parrot is, where is it? Under, on, or in. The parrot is on the branch. Okay, very good. Let's go with the next one. Where is the book? This is the book and this is a box. A box and a book. The book is on the box, on the box, in the box, or under the box. Think about it. It's on the box, it's in the box, or it's under the box. The book is under the box. Okay, very good. And the next one. The next one. Where is the bottle? Where is the bottle? Where is the bottle? The bottle is in the box. It's under the box or it's on the box. Where is the bottle? Donde está la botella? Where is the bottle? The bottle is in the box. Okay, very good. And the next one, the next exercise. Where is the tennis ball? Where is the tennis? This is a tennis ball and this is a box. What is the ball? The ball is on the box, in the box, or under the box. Think about it. On, under, or in. On, under, or in. Okay? The ball is on the box. Okay, very good. Very good, okay? Excellent. Now you can see that the ball is under the box. Ball is under the box. Okay, we are going to check one more exercise and uh, to conclude this part of the, of the exercises. The same questions. Where, where's the cat? Where's the cat? The cat. Now we have a new one that is next to. Next to is al lado de, next to, o enseguida de, next to. Al lado de, o enseguida de. So where is the cat? Where is the cat? The cat is uh, on, under the dog. It's on the dog, or it's next to the dog. If you think about it, uh, the, the, the cat is on the dog, right? Okay, the next one. What is the question? Where is the cat? Where is the cat? <laughs> it's in front of the ball, in front, al frente, in front. It's in the ball, in, adentro, or it's on the ball, sobre the ball. Sobre la pecera. It's on the ball. So we, we can say that the cat, it's in the ball. Yeah, it's inside. Okay, the next one. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Oh, poor cat. It's on the elephant, on the elephant, sobre el elefante, under the elephant, or in front of the elephant, al frente del elefante. We say that the cat, the cat is under the elephant, okay? Next. Um, where is the cat? It's behind the plant, behind, detrás, behind the plant, in front of the plant, frente de la planta, or under the plant, under, excuse me, under the plant, under the plant. Where is the cat? Behind, in front, or under? The cat is behind the plant. It is behind the plant. Next one, the dog, and the cat. Where is the cat? It's under the dog, under, behind, behind, detrás, or, or it's next to the dog, next to the dog, al lado del perro, next to the dog. We say that the cat, the cat is next to the dog, okay? Next one. Where is the cat? It's in front of the car, al frente del carro, in front of the car. It's on the car, it's behind the car. So the cat is in front of the car. Okay. Okay. Next. Where is the cat? 
The cat is behind the house on the tree, behind the house on the tree, detrás de la casa del árbol, behind, behind the house on the tree, between, between, between the house and the tree, this is the house and the tree and the cat, between, en el medio, between the house and the tree, or it's in front of the house and the tree. We see that the cat is between the house and the tree. Next. Where is the cat? It's next to the wall, al lado, next to the wall, behind the wall, or under the wall. Yeah? So under the wall, it's not. Behind the wall, I don't know, this is confusing. It's next to the wall, let's see. Oh, sorry, try again. Behind the wall, correct, behind the wall. I don't know, I, I, I think that is on the wall, but this is the exercise. Okay, next one, where is the cat? It's under the shirt, it's behind the shirt, or it's on the shirt. The cat is, the cat is on the shirt. Sobre la silla. Okay, correct. And the next one, where is the cat? Between the tree, entre el árbol, pero pues eso no sería correcto porque no hay otro. Between the tree and the house, for example, or between the tree and the car. It's behind the tree, or it's next to the tree. Next to the tree, al lado del árbol. It's between the tree, it's behind, or it's next to the tree. The cat is? next to the tree. Okay, my friends, this was the video to reinforce the use of in, on, under, and these other um, prepositions like uh, next to and between the and behind that appear in this, uh, these exercises, okay? Remember to practice in your houses, remember to keep on doing it, and to force yourself, force yourselves, to, uh, to try using the resources given to you, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.